Internet Informed, Guidance for the Dedicated Searcher, as published in December 2007, read by the author David Novak. This book is an element of The Spire Project. Prologue. The midnight sky stretches overhead. Thousands, millions, billions of stars twinkle and shimmer. Each star shines through the velvet blackness of the night. Red, blue, bright, dim, near, far, new, and old, each star reveals so much more than just the twinkle. Each star also testifies to the long legend leading to its existence, to the age-old transit to our eyes, to the vast emptiness between us. A cascade of stories and histories fill our view, so vast, so beautiful, so inspiring. The Internet reaches us across a vast mental space, stretching beyond all horizons. Thousands, millions, billions of bits of information sparkle and chime. Each piece of information shines its light on those seeking guidance. Detailed, superficial, incisive, trite, new and old, biased this way and that, each statement speaks of so much more than the facts contained. Each attests to the insight, perspective, and effort bringing it to light, to the challenge of capturing our attention. Once again, a cascade of stories and histories fill our view. So vast, beautiful, and inspiring. Let this be our metaphor. Let this image of an Internet galaxy guide us. It will help dispel the trendy but misguided notion of the Internet as a web, a web mostly of lost objects from near-anonymous sources. Internet information certainly consists of more than facts. Indeed, one of the central themes to using the Internet well is to reconnect information with its history, to reconnect with the people, purpose, and perspectives that give rise to Internet information. For example, encountering an Internet statement of uncertain origin, I click a button on my web browser that reveals context. In essence, I retrieve a list of further publications by the same author and publisher found in the same directory as the page I am reading. This simple act, this single click, reveals more about the author and publisher than I would find within the page itself. Knowing the author and publisher in this way makes their information more vital, more valuable. Context helps us enormously. Context is also one of about 40 techniques that lead us to a more valuable Internet experience. Let us return to this image of the Internet galaxy. At first glance, it may seem messy, but this is no cloud of information, no ocean of facts. It is more than a web of interlinked pages. Our Internet is a galaxy, a vast collection of information, where each item of information has a location. These locations and the links between them are adequately described by computer science. Each item of information also has a history partly defining the nature of that information. This history arises from the information's context, format, and source, a history closely following the insights of library science. Furthermore, all this information, far from being objects, are indeed messages presented with purpose, competing for attention. This offers us a third approach to understanding the Internet, embedded in the social act of publishing as seen through the eyes of sociology. Location, history, and message. Concepts like these lend the Internet structure, order, and organization. And just like our galaxy spread across the night sky, this structure, order, and organization is not immediately obvious. Step back. We must view this creation from a distance to see clearly. Stars and the Internet both display a holistic complexity and beauty, a beauty simply lost when we focus solely on the objects themselves. See this beauty, and so much becomes clear. Sweep away the appearance of chaos, for just beneath our feet rests a solid platform to support us. We may see only chaos at first, we may only suspect a degree of order, but there it rests, a firm foundation that bears our weight and more. In this book, we shall initially gather a collection of search techniques that extend our ability to collect and appreciate Internet information. This will include the use of field searches, an understanding of prominence and endorsements, as well as the influences of context, format, and source. I will also show you a very effective way to reveal quality on the Internet. We will then adopt several ways to move more swiftly. We want to liberate ourselves from some of the drudgery, as well as notice the many clues that already flash before our eyes. Following this, we will address the development of Internet information from a sociological and historical perspective. The more we understand the Internet, the less confusion will bar our way, and the more we will feel at home. This also reveals one further elusive structure to the Internet. Finally, we will discuss choreography as we decide what to search for and how to frame our question. 
a comprehensive and controversial search can be particularly tricky. Finding answers on the internet is not simple. If it were simple, we would just throw a few words at a search engine. A search would be straightforward, a three-point plan, a task we undertake in our most sleepy hour. Such searching works only for the dullest of questions, and search engines used in this manner only point to the most prominent resources, the most brilliant stars. While such searching offers occasional hints of brilliance and generally satisfies us, the best the Internet has to offer so often hides from view. The comprehensive, elusive, and challenging requires more from us than the tossing of a few keywords at a search engine. As we learn to demand more of the Internet, what we find in this way will not impress us. There is talent to using Internet information. This talent saves time, saves frustration. It leads us to better information. It also changes us. We become connoisseurs of information instead of consumers. We relate differently to information. We hold, hoard, and value information differently. This talent empowers us, empowers us to frame troubling challenges in terms of questions we can answer. As we answer these questions, we overcome our challenges. All journeys start somewhere. I shall assume you know how to toss words at a search engine, so we will start our journey with making searches precise, a step that requires a technical understanding of Internet fields and field searching. There is much worth achieving, much more than you will at first suspect. Let us begin.